Michael Norman, Mr. Marriott High School. The first repeat champion Gatorade National Track Field Athlete of the Year. First off, how'd you find the news this year? How would they break the news to you? Well, Coach Kendall called me. He's like, well, can you come to the school? Told her, he's like, yeah, sure. Just want to do like a video interview with like Preston or Price. I was like, okay. So I, I came to the school. Actually, he called me before I left. And he's like, can you meet me in my office? I was like, okay. So he went into his office. Kind of met him before I got there. I have to drive his golf cart around just for fun because I asked. And then, uh, but we went in his office, sat there for a little bit, then drove up here. And then, you know, Jeffrey Printy and a video photographer that I never met before right. was there ready to take a video. So then we started kind of like taking the interview, had to be facing like in a different direction. So just talking. And then, you know, I heard, the, I recognized the voice and then she came out from behind with the award. And I was like, oh, nice. <laughs> Now, Gatorade is very, very good about surprising athletes on something like this. But well, you were exposed to this last year when you won the award. Yeah. So when Coach asked you to come in, did you think there might be a, a chance that this might be? Yeah, because I was like, are they going to do it in his office again? I was like, is it the same thing as last year? I was like, just came, I was like, oh, no, I was just driving around. Nobody was in there. I was like, okay, just sitting there, and it's just fun. Gatorade Award is the most prestigious award for high school sports, for each of the sports that are involved. Mm -hmm. What does this mean to you to win it? And now two years in a row, when you think about the names that have won it in the past. Uh, it's, it's a humbling experience, you know. Words can't express how I feel right now, you know. It's just, when I first heard that I got the award the first time, and now the second time, you know, it left me speechless. Like, I don't know how I feel right now. It's just like, so much is going on in my head. But it's just such a humbling experience to, you know, earn such a prestigious award twice. You know, it's just a great feeling that it's something that just makes, makes, makes every, all the sacrifice I made worth it. Mm -hmm. Coming off the stretch drive postseason for CIF and then all of a sudden you know, Junior Nationals as well. Mm -hmm. Again, a series of great performances each of your events. You know, the 10-27 for the 100 meter dash, uh, <laughs> you know, during the season itself. Obviously the 2015, you're fresh off of that, mm -hmm. uh, win legal. What, which performance stands to you as the most impressive? What basically impresses you the most is in, in the self-analysis there? I'd say the, the 200. The 200. It was... A, just a great run, minus a little like off balance stumble head coming off the turn. But you know, running in 2015 is really fast. You know, I, right. I never would have thought that I'd be able, to, capable of running that fast ever. You know, came high school, running 40. My freshman year, I ended my year 22.6 and then 49.5. So I mean, coming out, ending my high school career, and running that fast is just I'm speechless. I'm just like shocked. The plan going forward, uh, you've got obviously the the. Uh the trials coming up in Eugene. You're now entering the two and the four. Is there one event that you feel you've got a better shot at as far as how you progress through the rounds than the other? Which one do you feel is your better event? I feel like I would have a better opportunity in the 400. Even though I'm not ranked as high as I am in the 200, I just feel like I haven't reached my, or reached my full potential in the 400 yet this year. And plus, there's, there's more opportunities with like spots to like you know relay pull, right. but I feel like with the competition, it like, pulled me to you know something, who knows something crazy. So I feel like the 400 would probably be my best opportunity. Starting out when you first started out in track and field, you were a little wiry guy in football. <laughs> you ever think you would be this good? I mean, you're now the top track and field athlete in America, two years running. <laughs> uh, for a guy again, a little little wiry guy in football, how surprised? How you know how out of the realm is that to you to come this far? Uh, I don't even know where to start. Like after my freshman year, I was like, "Ah, oh, nice." You know, I got the freshman record. It's great. Like that felt good. It's like maybe the 400 might be my thing. But when I came my sophomore year, I switched up a couple things. Started lifting weights for my second year. Got a lot stronger. Got a little taller. And you know, I started running a lot faster. And I was like, that just shocked me. That was my shocking year. And then after that, you know, after you know, getting a little taste of like just performing well, you know, it just motivated me even more to mm -hmm. continue working hard and just stay focused and with that it just carried on through the rest of my high school career and it just put me to this position and you know I would have never known as a freshman that I would have come so far especially in track and field. Right okay looking down to Eugene for the trials you've got a very fast track outstanding competition mm -hmm. are you thinking more about trying to get through the rounds are you thinking about the possibly national records I mean 4469 obviously is very very tough mm -hmm. 2013 is very very close I mean what, what's your where's your mind at going into trials? Mm -hmm. Coach Canell and I talked about this earlier today. Mm -hmm. uh, no time expectations, you know. With the great competition that will be there, time will come. So it's just a matter of getting, uh, trying to progress through the rounds and run to the best of my ability 
to you know potentially make the team. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I feel like if I were put myself in a position like to be like the 400 meter final, the time would come like running you know sub 45 or something fast. So as, as long as I can progress through the rounds, the times will keep increasingly get, getting faster as I go. Mm -hmm. Now a lot of people on the outside looking in, they hear Michael Norman and they, they know about the sprint times and such. Mm -hmm. They don't know also the fact that you were very versatile in doing you know, the one, the two, and the four, doing whatever it would take for the team. Mm -hmm. You guys win the team title. Uh, I know there's a lot of attention for Michael Norman, but obviously there's a lot of key players, a lot of athletes that have sacrificed as well. Yeah. Uh, how does it feel to be part of such a great program with some of these sprinters that are out there and other events as well? Oh, it's just, I don't know, it's, it's, it's amazing. You know, having a team that's, you know, pretty diverse in, you know, all the events is just, it's a great feeling, you know. I'm going to miss having a team of like right. 400 people, you know, right. it's pretty cool. Like, you meet somebody new every day at school. So it, it's, it's going to be a weird transition into college, but it's something I'm looking forward to. But, you know, being on this team has just been, you know, a great experience for me, you know, with meeting everybody and just enjoying everything as it progressed was just, just great, so. Definitely, I know from behind the lens, as far as watching you develop over the years, it's been very, very rewarding to see you develop. And I assume a lot of your fans look forward to what's ahead as well. So Michael Norman, again, repeat winner <laughs> of the Gatorade National Track and Field Athlete of the Year Award. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Nice job. Thank you.